I want to show you some ways to do research on different museum websites. And so what I'm showing you here is the Getty Museum website. And if we go to Museum and select Collection, it's possible to do a search of their collection. So let's assume that you might want to get information on a work of art containing, oh, let's say malachite. So we can type that in and do a search. Um, they have one hit, folding doors veneered with malachite. Um, no image is currently available, but this at least gives us uh, a little bit of information about uh, this particular work. Let's try another collection search. So let's do um, granite. That should give us quite a few more hits. Okay, so here uh, we have everything with the keyword granite. Uh, we can refine this by putting granite into the medium slash materials field. And wouldn't you know it, things get a little bit smaller and easier to find. Let's take a look at this pair of lidded vases. Uh, so we have a downloadable image, which is available through Getty's open content program. Uh, we have the overall view, and then there's a side view as well. Um, and then if we scroll down, we have details about the object, including its object number. If you were to contact the information for more information, that's what you would need to refer to. Um, and then we have um, information on the work itself. Sometimes if something has been uh, in an exhibition, you have bibliography there. Let's see if we can find something with some bibliography. So this is an unknown engraved gem. Okay, here we go. This one has bibliography. Uh, so this one has a German publication, Die Magischen Gemmen zu Bildern und Zauberformen auf geschnittenen Steinen der Antike und Neuzeit. Um, but at least you have a little bit of uh, something to go on for, for this particular work. In a moment, I'll show you another museum site. Now we've moved to the Metropolitan Museum of Art website. And uh, here we're going to look at uh, art and the Met collection. And then we can search the collection here. So uh, let's try Malachite maybe again. and see if we get any hits. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, I like the monumental vase. Let's take a look at that. So this has a public domain image again that's downloadable, and there are some beautiful details available as well. We can blow those up to full screen um, and even zoom way in so that you can see the texture of the stone, uh, pretty impressive. And then we can go back. All right, so we have a full description. We have the accession number. Um, we have where it's located within the museum. There's a nice descriptive essay. And then here in the footnotes, we have uh, uh, some bibliography that you can get you started. When there are signatures, inscriptions, and markings, you can open that area. Provenance, that's uh, where it was on the art market and in other collections before it got to the Met. And then you can see where there are essays in their online timeline of art history that relate. Um, and then similarly, you can see the other materials uh, and other object types that relate to it. 
And then there's a series of related uh, objects, uh, a number of them designed by the same artist. Uh, so if you want to look at how this work would relate to other works, that's what you can do. The other thing I want to show you on the MET website is, and we may have to find where it is, um, the MET Publications website. And you know what? I think I'm just going to type this in. So we're just going to type in MET Publications. And Met Publications is this amazing site. Um, the Metropolitan Museum of Art has put in uh, hundreds of books that are full, completely available for free online. And uh, you can select, download a PDF uh, to limit to those. And let's see if we can find cylinder seal as a keyword. Because Middle Eastern cylinder seals um, account for works in a lot of precious gems um, and other stones. Uh, so we have ancient art from Cyprus. We have ancient art in miniature Near Eastern seals from the collection of Martin and Sarah Chernos. Cherkovsky, um, a whole selection of works, two pages worth. Um, so let's look at Art of the First Cities, which is a really wonderful catalog. And it's possible to read this down uh, online as a Google book um, and just scroll through it that way. And you can see the, the quality of the photography here. The links show us the areas that are available in this online version of the book. But like I said, it's also possible to completely download this title and uh, then open it up as a PDF. While we're waiting for that, I want to also point out we have a description. You can go through the table of contents. There are press reviews and also a series of tags that you can click on to get more information from the museum website. And then there are also related titles, and these are listed both by thematic category um, and then also by, uh, by author. And many of these are within the uh, MET website, so simply by clicking more, you can get uh, that particular publication. It may or may not be downloadable, uh, but this is a, a really wonderful uh, resource. And then you can also go into additional resources, which gives us a series of works that were in this particular show, including this cylinder seal. Uh, so this can be a really fun way to search for material for your paper. Most of the museum websites that I have listed for you perform in similar ways. And if you find yourself having trouble, simply let me know. Um, I can help you. Um, your TA might be able to help you. Uh, but this is certainly something that we can solve if need be.